You can create and save most use phrases with shortcuts to save time. These are very useful when your work needs you to type a lot and you use similar phrases all the time. This is called personal dictionary on Google keyboard or Gboard. If you are using some other keyboard, then you will have a similar option to create and save shortcuts. Here on the Google keyboard dictionary settings, I can see all my shortcuts. I can add more shortcuts if I need. But the problem is these shortcuts do not synchronize online. You only have the export option. This means if you reset your phone, you will not have access to these shortcuts anymore. So I use this TextPand application to create and save all the keyboard shortcuts. The best thing about this application is that you will never lose any of these shortcuts you create. All the shortcuts are always synchronized with your Google Drive. You can use these on multiple devices. After installing the application, you need to enable the accessibility service for the app so that it can work in the background on all the application you are typing. Under the settings menu, you can see the sync settings. You can set the preferred Google account and the sync interval. Let's create some shortcuts. I will tap on the create button. It has two options, phrase and phrase list. The phrase list allows you to create multiple phrases with one shortcut. We will see that in a bit. Let's add a phrase. On the shortcut box, I will type my preferred shortcut and then the phrase I want. That's it. It saves automatically. If I search with the shortcut, I can see the newly created shortcut. Let's add some more shortcuts. I created a few shortcuts. Now let's add a phrase list. I will create the shortcut with thank and under it I will create some versions of thank yous so I can use them whenever I need them. Now let's try the shortcuts. When I type a shortcut you can see the little pop-up here and when I tap on it it applies. You see the pop-up whenever I am typing a shortcut. Now, when I type the phrase list shortcut, you can see the pop-up with the list icon. Selecting this will display all the phrases under the shortcut. I just need to tap on the one I want to add. You can see all the version of the thank you I created earlier. With text shortcuts, you can also create shortcuts for an image. On this option, Instead of a phrase, you need to add an image and when you need it, you should type the shortcut. Additionally, it has an option to create shortcuts for actions. You can assign one or multiple actions with a shortcut. You can see the list of the actions here. The application is free to use with limited features. For the full features, you need to subscribe to the premium version for $5. Thank you for watching.